So one of the most commonly asked questions I get is, should drumming be painful? Um, and my answer to this is really, it shouldn't be. Um, but yeah, I still get emails about people saying they have pain in their neck, they have pain in their lower back or their hands or their calves. Um, and really, if you're experiencing pain on the drums, it's normally a technique issue. So the first thing I would say to you is watch the special feature video episode one. It's on bass drum technique, it's on posture, positioning your drums, it's on grip, and you're going to get some really good guidance there on, on how to just be efficient on the drums um, and just not make the, the experience painful. Um, but let's talk a little bit more specifically. Um, you should, let's start with your hands. You shouldn't be getting calluses, blisters. You certainly shouldn't be bleeding anywhere from your hands unless you've opened up an old injury. Um, if you're experiencing pain with your hands, it's normally you're gripping the stick too tight or you're hitting the drums too hard, um, but you really shouldn't be getting those blisters. Now, if you're playing every day for hours, I mean, drummers on tour, for example, they get calluses all the time, but that's just because it's almost like repetitive strain. But Certainly from a hobbyist standpoint, you shouldn't be getting pain in your hands at all. Um, if you're experiencing pain in your neck or your lower back, um, or even your legs and hips, that's generally a lumbar spine um, issue. So you should make sure that you're sitting up nice and straight on your drum seat. Make sure that your drum seat is at the correct height. Again, all of this is featured in that special feature video. But just by sitting up straight, keeping your shoulders back on the drums, that's going to solve half the aches and pains that you're probably um, going to experience. Um, calves, that's another thing when you're, when you're hitting that bass drum pedal repeatedly. Um, sometimes you can get a little bit of pressure in your calf or the front of your calf even. Um, but if you're watching your bass drum technique, if you're playing heel up and you're paying attention to all the tips that I give you in that special feature video on bass drum control, um, then, you, then you really shouldn't experience that. So in summary, drumming should not be painful. If you're experiencing pain, check your posture, check the positioning of your drum set. That's another thing. The drums need to be ergonomic. If you're raising your shoulder to hit a cymbal or to play hi-hats because your drums are set up too high, you know, that's an ergonomic issue there. And again, that video does, um, does cover that. Uh, the most pain I've ever been in when I've played was something really silly. I was overexerting myself with probably not the best technique in the world when I was learning. And I hit myself in the eye with the tip of a drumstick. And trust me, that is something you do once and you never do again. When you're playing the drums, the tips of the sticks, they should never be anywhere near your face. And I see that all the time. So just be aware, make sure you're, you're uh, when you're playing the drums, make sure you're efficient you're not all over the place like this because that's going to minimize the chances of you hurting yourself. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me, support at drumambition.com. Enjoy the, enjoy the experience. Don't hurt yourself. Don't cause yourself pain. I'm here to help you if you need me.